I am at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles in Hanover, Pennsylvania. I'm looking for stuff for my whatnot weekly variety sales, of course. Let's go in and see what they got. I'm still kind of obsessed with this decanter. I love that genie bottle style and the perfume. I've been really into perfume bottles recently. That one's 39, that is gorgeous. I'm sure it's spendy, but this caught my attention. I love this style. Gosh, look at how pretty these are. How much is this? 35 for the pair. That's not bad, but I don't think I can do anything with that for resale. Um, let's see, I don't usually go back here. What is this vase back here? Well, that's kind of interesting. Oh, 95. I thought it said 950. <laughs> Good grief. No wonder. Okay, but also random huge bag of bangle bracelets. Look at this. How much is this? $15. Well, that's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? That's awesome. I'll take that. Now, this is the same vendor. Oh! <gasps> Oh my God, look at that elephant with the Bakelite, head, a Bakelite head, uh, body. I was gonna say, this is the same vendor that has a booth at Burning Bridge. I was there yesterday with Dagny and uh, I didn't film it, but I found this amazing checkerboard Bakelite Scotty Dog brooch for $39, which was definitely a little spendy, but it was checkerboard and Bakelite, so. I couldn't not. I mean, it's still a good price, honestly. Some of those stuff go goes crazy high. What's over here? I've actually um, found some really cool stuff in this booth, but I haven't been that back here in a while. Ooh, I like what's going on over here. That's really pretty. Why is that $10? Please do not let kids open. Hold on, let me move this. I feel like it's probably broken. How do you open it? Maybe, oh, there. <laughs> this is really pretty. Why is this $10 though? Usually the flowers are all broken on these. It's got a little nick at the top, but for $10, that's gorgeous. And what is that, Stevens and Williams? I wonder if it is. I don't really mind that little spot for 10 bucks I and mean, that's barely anything. I think I'm gonna grab this might not be but still now here's another thing i can't help but notice this little rubber rubber head chick cup that is so cute see this is 22 i tell you kitsch has gone up crazy in price recently well another score look at that carnival glass vase i i cheated i looked underneath it's only 15 dollars, so i'm definitely gonna need a key for that it's a really good buy. I love the green too. Well, I'm off to a good start. I got the carnival glass vase for 15 and the bag of bangles for 15, as well as the uh, really pretty glass, applied glass vase for 10. Feel good about it. Look at all the fun lamps in here. I'm like not supposed to look in here. It makes me crazy. Like, look at this set. It's insane. Look at this crazy coconut palm tree thing wooden palm tree five dollars that's pretty cool <laughs> it's a wild looking thing oh i win dagny also the cat bank eight dollars that's a good price these are usually kind of spendy not sure how well i do on this though it's in really good condition another thing i don't think i'd lose money but should I get it? I don't know. If someone's going to think I'm insane for... Uh... Hey, look at this. It's a jar of marbles, but look at how cool the uh, jar is itself. I don't think any of them are going to glow. They're more contemporary. Gosh, they opened the door back here and it's freezing. Look at this. I swear there's always something happening here. Little chalkware fawn, $4. I'll take that. This is cool. 
Yeah, they look like contemporary marbles, but still, I like the jar on it. All right, it's very cold. I'll take it. Look at this masher. That's cool. All right, um, I'm going to move away from this door. This is the booth I've been finding some really cool stuff in. I love the Westmoreland Hollyberry jar. Let's see, what else do we have back here today? Some really unique stuff. I don't usually focus too hard on the jewelry, but I cannot help but notice that caught my attention. It's kind of hard to show off the Lalique France Art Nouveau Lady Pendant. That is incredible. That caught my attention uh, walking by. Here's another thing I'm kind of a sucker for, this cut to clear, $24. Is there a discount in this booth? I don't think there is. Yeah, that's a little close for me. I love that style though, so fun. See the nude peeking out over here, $24. I can't do that on clear especially. Like I said last time I was here, this booth has also had some really interesting stuff that I've been picking out recently. Oh, I like this. That's cool. I think it's a hobbyist piece, but I like the glaze on that. Oh my gosh, I love that little gobel bank back there. Look at that atomizer next to it. That's really interesting looking. It almost looks like trench art from afar. Uh, the barbell? That's hilarious. What is happening here? Does that say $149? something going on with that i don't know but this mirror is amazing look at this that's really pretty i love that ormolu style how cool is that alabaster stone pair the bookends those are really different or maybe i've seen them and i've just never noticed them uh let's see sure what I'm looking for. I'm kind of in a strange mood. Of course, uh, earlier I went to yesteryear, I didn't film because I'm going to do a what's in my box Limoges. That's pretty. Sign too. Um, a what's in my box unboxing on whatnot. So that's going to be tomorrow. Oh my gosh, this booth is restocked. Oh, dude. Giant Blanco. And look at this lamp. I like bypassed everything behind me because I have to know what's in here. They've got some really crazy stuff sometimes. Look at this little Mexican tin rocking horse. It looks more like a lion. Yeah, this booth has had some really neat stuff in it. Let's see, the reindeer. That one is 18 firm. That's a little spendy. I looked at that poodle last time. I remember it was close. Uh, what a cool clock. I love the color of that. Let's see. Cat. <laughs> Not seeing. This is nice. I like that it's got this donut hole in it. I'm not really seeing anything that's uh, screaming for me, though. <laughs> How did I miss this lamp? That is insane. Skater lamp. Wow, that's cool. 125, that seems cheap. That is spectacular. It looks like it's in insanely good condition. Man, I need to stop looking at that. And here's the vendor's other booth. Man, they have some insanely cool lamps. I like the Blanco uh, pineapple sun catcher. There's actually a piece of pottery back here that's sticking out too. Oh, it's not, it's metal. It looked like it could be pottery from afar, just kidding. This little tin mailbox bank is amazing. I think it's missing something though. Whoa, look at that poster. Holy crap. That's awesome. It's, what is it, the Monsters in, Monsters in Spanish? That is such a neat one. I've never seen something quite like that. All right, well, finally I caught it. The last couple times I've been here, uh, this booth has been cleaned out. 
It's one of those ones where you gotta be here when it gets here. Otherwise, you... Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Um, $20 on this Fenton compote, but it's got the lid. It's pink. And what about that? That's 17, 18. Yeah, this booth is where it's... Oh! <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh my gosh. I'm buzzing right now. Incredibly epic find. Oh man. I love the tall neck ones. And those are in great condition. That is a no-brainer. Alright, let me collect my energy and and see what I'm gonna do over here. Um should at least like look what else they have. Gosh, that was exciting. Yeah, I see a lot of stuff. Look at this. That's really pretty. Raspberry floral votive. Look at this pig. Is it a pig? Yeah, iridescent pig paperweight. Oh, and the little Tiffany color. That's 23. Oh my gosh. And then look at this epic jar. Oh, wow. Okay. Need to get it together. All right, I'm going to take a look around and gather myself and uh, see what else I can find in here. Well, this is another thing that I kind of couldn't help but notice. I don't think I've ever seen this color before. Teal, creamer, and sugar. I like the way the light hits it. It's really different. I think I'm going to take a gamble on it. I, might sh I probably should look it up, right? But, uh... This is amazing. This has their original stickers on it too, and it is only $7. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. So it's actually more readily available than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm putting this set back. I decided to step away from that booth for a while and uh, see what else there was. Now, so what's this weird cat thing? Priceless. And then this bowl, that's really pretty. That's only $3.50. It's pink too. Um, I usually find some pretty great stuff in this booth. This is another one where it's like, if you're not there when it happens, you miss out. <laughs> so I'm going to peek around here. There's another pig. Down here. Milk glass, Westmoreland ashtray. Why not? I'll take one of those. Oh, now I'm starting to second guess myself. I'm going to put it back. Um, there is one thing up here, though, that I really like. It's this. This glass bottle. It's really pretty. So, funny story. Uh, I walked back and the vendor was actually restocking. So, I really got first pick. Uh, I decided I was going to put some stuff up front. This, I got, this is so pretty. This moonstone opalescent box. That was only five and then I got two paperweights now these are clear but I feel good about it because this one's five bucks and it's a snail everybody loves snails and then this one is actually, actually Lennox and uh yeah Lennox made in Germany fine crystal eight dollars and it's a cat so that's a triple whammy and then this little vase right here is so pretty and that's only at 13 all right well I am feeling super shopped out but I did pick up four more pieces. Now this is $15, it's got some weight to it, uh, believe it or not. It's a little flamingo trinket box, it's really cool. Yeah, I think that's a good piece. And uh, it's rhinestone, cast metal, flamingos. I feel like I can't go wrong. Now I also picked up this blue opalescent shoe. This one was 13, I just thought it was pretty. I don't usually see that pattern, but this one I'm paying up for. Look at that. Pink opalescent slipper, but it's got all their original stickers. It's just like a really unique color. It's got like a pink shine to it. And then I did decide to uh, pay up a little bit for this green vase. I feel like 24, excuse me, 24, I won't lose money on it. I think it's really pretty. 
So there we go. Well, I got caught up talking to one of the vendors there. Uh, I spent $159 and it is freezing. I am ready to go home and warm up and get ready for my whatnot sale tonight. <laughs>